I want to talk about the, the you're trying to still become the nominee at this point. It seems pretty secure. You turned down the RNC. They were going to just effectively anoint you as the candidate. You turned that down. You wanted to kind of fight it out the right way, so you're still dealing with Nikki Haley. Um, what is the Nikki Haley support base in your mind? It, it feels to me that she's getting, I think, at least some financial support from people that will never vote for her. From that Democrats. Want to just, that want to bruise you up before yeah. you get to Joe Biden. She's being supported by Democrats and by, I don't even say never Trumpers. There aren't that many never Trumpers anymore. But she's being supported by Democrats. And she was in New Hampshire. And she was in Iowa. So in Iowa, I had the biggest election victory in the history of nobody's ever had a margin like I won. And in New Hampshire, I had the most votes in the history of the New Hampshire primary. That's a long time. That's many, many years, right? Many decades. Uh, she got trounced. Uh, she walks onto the stage and says, oh, this was a wonderful night. You know, but it wasn't a wonderful night for her. It was a wonderful night for me. Uh, no, we're beating her very badly. And I hear we're beating her very much in South Carolina. And I tell you, Tim Scott has been Better, I said, you've been better for me than you've been for yourself. He became a dynamo. You know, he was a little bit low-key when he ran for himself. For me, he has been incredible. I mean, he's been so strong and wonderful. Uh, I called few, him up. One of you you're considering up. for vice president? Well, he's I mean, on he's the list. one of a lot of yeah. names. We have a yeah. lot of great names. We have yeah. a lot of great Republicans. But, right. but I did I called him. I said, you were much better for me than you were for yourself. You know, you, he's really, he's done a very good job. Let me, let me ask you about the RNC. You know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of criticism. You know, the, the fundraising is an issue. Hasn't been a good past couple election cycles at all. 2022 should have been far better than it was. I think we can all agree on that. Is, is it time for Ronna McDaniel to step aside? Well, I think she knows that. I think she understands that. And, you know, as far as me is concerned, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I endorsed almost 100 percent of the Republicans that I endorsed win. And in the midterms, out of 253 endorsements, I won 222 races. Let me, I want to ask you about the, the legal issues. You know, it, it, it obviously it's strengthened you, but it's, it's obviously very taxing. Uh, it's also very expensive to go through something like yeah. this. Well, what, that are was, that was the what, what are your lawyers saying at this well, point? Do you, think, are, do you think you'll be convicted of a crime this year? Look, this was warfare and lawfare, or whatever they call it, many different things. There's many different names. Basically, it's cheating. Yeah. Uh, they have the DOJ, and we're talking about DAs and attorney generals in cities and states. Uh, I have eight cases, all nonsense. But I'm in the middle of a very Democrat area, radical left areas. I mean, we have Washington, D.C., where I call for a federalization. I, we have to take over. One of my great people was just killed, carjacking, who was one of the finest per people you'll ever meet. He's sitting in his car, and they shot him and took his car. Brought and he just it. died yesterday, yes. Just died yesterday. His family is... Uh, is so de you've never seen his family is so devastated. We have to have strong law enforcement using the people. The people are good. They're not being allowed to do their job. Right. The police are good there. I know the police. They're great. Uh, the Capitol Police, but they're not being allowed to do their job. Yeah. Uh, Washington, D.C. is a disaster. We have to clean it up, fix it up, uh, take the graffiti off the beautiful marble columns. Graffiti all over the place. The roads are filthy, dirty. The medians and the asphalt is rotted out. The medians are falling down into the road. Right. This is Washington. Can you imagine what some leader comes and says, like, oh, this is it? But, but just so you know, I have a case there. Yeah. I have a case anywhere where you can't have a case as a Republican, yeah. especially if you're me. I have a case. Yeah, I think, no, I think my people cases are waking are up, though, aren't they? They're I mean, aren't even... they waking up to this? I well, mean, well, we're I sitting so. here in your house that they tell us is worth eighteen million dollars. Yeah, yeah. There's a house down the street that's ten times as small, landlocked, that's worth fifty. Yeah. And we're we're supposed to just it's believe all that. Part of the yeah. thing. It's uh, judges. It's prosecutors. Uh, and yet, I will tell you, the people. Uh, it's. I don't believe. Look, you've seen my poll numbers. My poll numbers are the best we've ever had. We're killing Biden in so many different ways. In uh, Georgia, we're up 11. Yeah. In Pennsylvania, we're up 10. I mean, numbers that Republicans don't see. It's harder as a Republican. Yeah. It's actually harder. They have a constituency that's built in no matter who runs. We don't. We don't. We have to go out and earn it. But we're leading everywhere. We're leading in every single swing state. So right. the one thing I will say, and I think you would probably admit that this is true, I don't believe, normally this would be very bad, but 
I don't believe that from a voting standpoint, it's probably been incredible because these numbers are legendary numbers. We haven't seen a Republican leading. I mean, let's talk about the presidential race. I mean, when you when you have a Republican leading in an NBC poll, right. you know, or in a, I mean, I think there's a Harvard Harris poll. I mean, you, you have these are very you never traditionally lead. liberal polls. Usually, if you're within a few points, yeah. it looks like the Republicans are going to win. You're leading you, in these you polls. You never lead, and you you're leading by a lot. Okay, leading by I mean, a that's lot. crazy. Yeah, no, it's but I think part of that is this weaponization. This uh, people see. It. I call it election interference because more than anything else, it's election. Now, if I weren't running, this would be or none of this stuff would have happened. I would say this: if I were in fourth or fifth place, likewise, it would not. But these are very dishonest people.